With coronavirus cases surging, our local hospitals are reminding the public to seek proper medical care if you're feeling unwell. News Channel 3's Madison Weil has more on the timeline of the coronavirus and what symptoms warrant a visit to a health care provider. Doctors say COVID-19 can impact people differently. And with case numbers climbing, it's important to be familiar with some of the early and more mild symptoms. The big one is lack of taste. People have headaches with it shortness of breath, cough. Early detection of COVID can be critical when it comes to treatment, especially if you have risk factors. If you're a diabetic, if you have hypertension, if you're on dialysis, if you're uh, obese, you have issues with any, any lung problems, those are reasons to come to the emergency department. If you start feeling sick, doctors say the best thing is to get tested immediately. Isolate yourself. And, uh, and go get tested so that you can tell your peop the people around you that you are positive or not. What are the symptoms that would trigger or warrant a visit to the ER? If you're feeling short of breath, if you feel uh, very weak, you feel like you're gonna pass out, those are the kinds of things that we'd want you to come to the emergency department for. Our local hospitals say it's also important not to neglect your routine health checkups during this time, even if you're feeling healthy. What I worry about are people not getting medical care for real illnesses that need attention. We really do want to encourage the community to reach out to us, schedule these visits. For anyone feeling uneasy about a trip to the doctor during the pandemic, many health care providers now offer telemedicine, virtual doctor's appointments from the comfort of your home. We're well aware that folks are, might be scared to come in, but we've got all the resources they need. They can talk through their issues on the televisit. Doctors adding a preventative routine visit can often save you from a trip to the ER. Madison Weil, News Channel 3.